Good afternoon, this is Sean with Paradise Veggies. I am here at bed number three, which is the second bed I am trying to turn into a permanent garden bed. So I planted out ultra dwarf varieties of fruit. Right here I have a Royal Lee cherry and a mini Royal cherry. It has a 200 hour frost requirement. And uh, frost, for people that don't realize, is just 45 degrees or lower. Um, and 200 is actually very doable in Arizona. Uh, normally you don't see cherries because they can have upwards of 1500 to 2000 chill hours, which we definitely don't get. Down here I have a Garden Delight Miniature Nectarine. Now this is the first year that I have planted this variety. Uh, it obviously seems to be doing well so far. We'll let the quality and size and amount of fruit that it sets be the ultimate judge. I have a Bonanza Miniature Peach, which I have had some success in the past with. Uh, that's just planted that one. And then I have this Golden Garden Gold Dwarf Peach. So we will see how this one does. I had a random golden delicious apple lying around, so I decided to plant it. Somebody told me that they have not, that they have tried it again and again to grow this variety and have not. Fuji apple grows very well here. Um, so might end up replacing this with a Fuji if it doesn't end up producing. Right here I have my favorite garden plant so far, or my second favorite garden plant to the um, tree kale. This is the Bonanza Miniature Peaches. Now this is their second year, so they're pretty well established. Have some blooms on them. Now, peaches aren't uncommon here in Arizona. Everybody's seen them, but usually the fruit is uh, fairly small. Definitely nothing like you would see in the store. These plants, I don't know if it's because they stay smaller and more energy can be diverted towards the fruit, but this fruit on here is very big. It's near store-bought. It's very sweet, very tender, so I'm really happy because I planted this. Uh, because I've had success growing it, I'll go ahead and endorse where I bought it, which is Baker Nursery. The plants are very cheap, they're like 20 bucks. Um, so go pay them a visit if you are so obliged. Over here I have what's called the Southern Bell Dwarf nectarine. Um, this plant is obviously established. It's its second year. It did well last year. It did set fruit. The one thing though is that the fruit never seemed to end up ripening. So um, we'll see this year how it does. Uh, if the fruit, uh, it, it got big, but it just never ended up to get, it never ended up getting soft and never ended up getting sweet. Um, hopefully we'll have a different outcome this year. Um, was at Baker Nursery and I found these dwarf flowery peach. So there was two of them. I went ahead and planted them. The jury's still out, right? It's the first year. We'll see how things turn out. Uh, I go ahead and I buy different varieties of plants, not just for the sake of having different varieties, but for seeing which varieties will do the best. One in growing, but also setting fruit, surviving year after year. So that's why you see me having so many different, not just because it's possible to grow them, I don't know. These might grow and then the fruit just might not be that great. We'll see. Over here I have my dwarf clementine. Uh, after I planted it, it had a pretty serious case of transplant shock, so it didn't end up fruiting, but I'm happy to say that it is finally blooming. Um, the last thing is, is again, in the bottom of the beds, I've gone ahead and planted uh, melons. So in the top portion I have a uh, cantaloupe, and then down here in the bottom portion of the bed, I have planted out watermelon. Watermelon hasn't sprouted yet, but the cantaloupe has. Hope you guys like my videos. Go ahead and post comments. Have a wonderful week. Bye.